God bless you, everyone. Do you call yourself a Christian? What does Christianity mean to you? Dave here with another video talking about your time with God. That's right, your time with God. A personal relationship with God is the deep connection with fellowship, love, and trust. What does that mean to you? What does fellowship, love, and trust mean to you? Is it something you have with God? Let's be real for a moment. Can I be real with you? Check this out. Christianity is an intimate, growing relationship with Jesus Christ. Did you hear me say that Christianity is an intimate, growing relationship with Jesus Christ? Let that soak in. Think about the part about a growing relationship. Now think about many people's impression of what the church is all about. Although there are a lot of doctrines for understanding Christianity, alone is not a set of doctrines to just believe, habits to practice, or sins to avoid. It's not only a set of train tracks of rules to follow along, it's more than that. Every activity God commands, as shown in the Bible, is intended to enhance his love relationship with his people. That's you and me. God designed worship for us to see him in his glory and to respond appropriately. For many people, it has been reduced into some form of religion. Religion to many is just one more meeting to attend out of habit. That's robotic. Christianity is not robotic. God established the sacrificial system, the sacrificial system, so that we, his people, could express our love to him. See, that's what love is. It's a sacrifice. You see, love is designed out of commitment. Did you hear me say commitment? That's what we learn in the Bible. It's all about a relationship with God. Now think of this. Many people often diminish their gifts to our Lord into attempts to appease him and to pacify our guilty conscience. I'm going to say that again. Many people often diminish their gifts to the Lord into attempts to appease him and to pacify our guilty conscience. But that is an exercise rather than a relationship that God is looking for from all of us. Let that one soak in for a moment. You see, God gave us prayer so we could have a conversation with him. We as a people often say prayers and hurry off without ever listening to what God is talking about and what God has on his heart. God instituted his commandments as a protection for those he loves, and that's for you and me. Unfortunately, the commandments, as shown in the Bible, can become a pathway to legalism rather than an avenue for a relationship with our Father in which he protects us from harm. Religious activity, apart from fellowship with God, is an empty ritual. In biblical times, the people of Jeremiah's day we're satisfied to have the ritual without the manifest presence of God. They became so comfortable with their religion that they didn't even notice God's presence. We see that in Jeremiah verse 2 through 6. I should say Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 6 in the Bible. So let's take a look at Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 6 in the Bible. Okay, again, it's Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 6. And I will read. They did not ask, 
Where is the Lord who brought us up out of Egypt and led us through the barren wilderness, through a land of deserts and ravines, a land of drought and utter darkness, a land where no one travels and no one lives? And that's in Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 6. Is it possible to pray, to attend a worship service, or to give an offering, yet not to experience the presence of God? It certainly is possible, and it happens a lot. And that has been the sad thought on many of Christian experiences. Don't settle for a religious life that lacks a vital relationship to Jesus Christ. When God is present, the difference will be obvious. When God is present in your life, your life will not be the same as it was in the past. Listen for God's voice to be spoken in the silence of time you are with him. Practice obedience to the words written in the Bible. Be willing to trust God with your heart. Depend on God for your strength as he leads you out of darkness. Consider having a true relationship with God and believe in that relationship. From the Resurrection Center, my name is Dave.